Sadie. Ryan and the mug. Damn. You okay? Peachy. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? I'm down. Finish off them old Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Combs sling. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Like you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Oh! I'll tell you what. The man said he's tired. I gotta. Me I personally, wish I, could. I gotta respect the man wishes. He I said he's tired. Enough with the old Driscoll's revenge is a fool's game. And this fits Arthur so? Morgan's character, I ain't gonna lie. Well, thank you for your honesty. Listen, I'm real sorry. Don't worry about it. But, I hate to ask, but... Uh, when the time comes, I got a plan. And I'm gonna need your help with it if I'm gonna pull it off. Excuse me? There's money, lots of it, for you, me, and John. Okay. Well, tell me when you can. Good. I knew I could count on you. Leave them old Driscoll. They ain't worth it. You're better than that. Sadly, that ain't true. It's hiding there. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Thanks to that raid you carried out with my angry son, he is now in jail, apparently awaiting death. <sighs> um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious. And also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men. I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace but uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <laughs> Shit. Maybe I can help you with that cough. Drop some wisdom on me. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. 
It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. To where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection. And healing. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Even Sorry, this ain't a good time for me. At all. I already got more problems than I can handle. For real? Of course. Oh shit. Uh, not to worry. Uh. I shouldn't have put you on the spot like that. Pick up the pace, sir! My light was messing up. Yeah. It's still messing up. It's best if we stick together. I'm trying to fix it with my feet now. Yeah. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. Give me a second. Keep still. Fuck, nigga. See you both soon. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Hold up, easy, eat, boy. Good boy. Now, now. We can't talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. Let's keep moving. I want you to see this place. Three oh. years. He was the best man I knew. But he's been unraveling for some time now, and I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. So why do you stay? I'd have been dead by 16 if it wasn't for him. He never gave up on me. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. My bad for not talking so much, y'all. This is what I was looking for. I just immerse mace. I don't talk much okay. when I immerse. Let's continue on. Now, as I was saying, it ain't something that's easy to walk away from. And he's got all my money. It sounds like you have a lot to work out in your own mind. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, we'll be able to escape. 
go somewhere far away where no one will find us. Eagle flies got caught up in there. Now he's in jail. Sadly, Eagle flies was ready to fight. Now, I'm sure Charles will find a way to help him, but I wanted you to know the situation. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You got no reason to thank me. You know, I had a son once. I didn't even years know that. Ago. Don't talk about him much. No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. Damn, you don't let him finish the stories. This will combine well. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. Can I have some now? All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Anyway, what you were talking about? I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day. How old is Arthur Morgan? Saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. Shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. It hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain, I guess. I had to. I ain't been a good man. At least you understand something of your anger. I understand that you can't be a bad man and expect good things to happen to you. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. I'll work something out. If I get enough money together, I can always head out west to one of those sanatoriums in California. I still got some options. Well, I wish you all the best. Up ahead. Achoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's happened? No! Oh, shit. It can't be. No! We passed by this so many times. They destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. There's some whiskey here. 
I'll take it. What reason would they have? bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Chinupa. I cannot believe this. Any binoculars? Yep. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? I guess so. I tried to come in here peacefully. I tried to come in here on peaceful shit. Damn! Get off me, nigga! your things I think yes thank you I'm very sorry about this 
Even sacred things. Are Come on, hurry things. up and call it quits, cause this nigga People, pissed me off. The heart, not anymore. Was anyone hurt? No one was killed. Well done. Well done. I wish my son knew such restraint. My people owe you a great debt, and I'm giving you very little. But please, take this. We believe it to be sacred. Thank you. Thank you. Arthur Mark is a good man. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Next, Josiah. Hold on, let me see how far that shit is. Hmm, I got some some dizzies on it. He's been feeling like a little side mission. That's why I have not been saying a word. I've, I've been feeling like I've been doing these weak ass side missions. Get back to the main story. Fuck. Shut up. What's up, John John? Hey, big man. Right. I um I was uh leaving oh, again? Be. Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh what do you mean? 
I gotta go take well, the Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember. You still finna do it. Maybe this time, he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got. I've it. saved your life. Man, fuck you. I don't care. I'm not Do doing this me. shit. Oh my god. Sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Why am I doing these bullshit as Aaron runs? Oh my goodness. God, that's cause doing this, both of you. Shut up, nigga. You I forgot. Already done so much. This cause I said yeah to whenever Charles hey, wanted me to do that motherfucking. Oh. Nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I knew I should have said no. I'm saying no to all this kind of shit. Situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. How far is the shit? It don't even say. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, nigga, fuck your people. We find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld. How can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. What? Captain Move, nigga! He had the meeting, and he knows the true situation at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Shoot, this thing got to ride the whole way down. Fuck. This way.
Boy, I will smack the piss out of you. Don't push me. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Uh, <clears throat> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name, is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking oh. peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Obviously not. Take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, Reigns' fault. Exactly. Yeah. Chief Reigns, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martialed for attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does... Favors care about the Indians because he doesn't want to back down I mean, his whole professional life You know what they say about him high tail favors the man who missed a battle Poor Monroe Kind of liked him. I know Well still he's kind of stuck up Your men violated the treaty That treaty is null and void I have been appointed to negotiate Feeling better? Yeah Come on, <coughs> let's go. <coughs> Still coughing. Lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <coughs> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh. Is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all now! Out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Arthur, let's go. Let him go. You son of a bitch. Open fire on
bitch. Damn. Ah! More on the left. Head for the trees. We're pegged in. Go. Find some cover. Protect the road. Come on. Come on, Captain. Can you shoot? I can't do it. They're trying to kill you. I'll say we're wrong. It's all over now. He wasn't even aiming at me just now. Bro, these niggas taking three bullets? Get off the horse. I'm about to die and shit. wrong with you that's why I'm done doing shit for people give me an unnecessary bullshit and then you don't, you don't even want to help clean up your mess this was meant to be a truce obviously not fuck nigga Or oh my gosh. That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? Can't worry about that now. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Just take it. Don't even Mr. say Money. nothing. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to Saint Denis, jump on a boat. We'll avoid Guam. 
Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. <coughs> hmm? <coughs> I fuck with you, that's why I put up with you. Reverend? What are you doing here? Reverend. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm leaving. Running away? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm... I'm running away. I, I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You're leaving them? I told them to run, too. I asked them to come with me, and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I won't die over some nonsense spouted by a fool. I ain't changed. I'm still a bad man. Maybe your path isn't changing, Arthur. My path is coming to an end, Reverend. I know, son. I know. And I know that you will face your destiny like a man. Like a warrior. Because that's what you are. That's all I am. A fighter. A killer. And a crazy man. So be it. You lived your way. You'll die your way. But in the time that you have left, don't compromise. And you'll do everything that you have to do just fine. We'll see. I don't have to see. I know you. Fight and keep fighting. Okay. Good luck out there. Be true to yourself, Mr. Morgan. And leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me. Everybody leaving, dude. We just lost quarter dollars. Quarter dollars. Where am I on this map? Look how far. Push Thank me again, I'm gonna smack the piss out you. Shut up, nigga. The chief, he's uh, he's very. Maybe you could speak to him. Yes. yes. Oh, I hope oh, I didn't see he's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Come in. <clears throat> Mr. Morgan. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Uh, he's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. I lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. And any chance we had, 
your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Hopefully, on, let's go. Hopefully, hopefully we are Maybe done get son back, of course. with these people. Just ain't sure how. Charles, I've you can live here in these goddamn... I think there's a way. Uh, Follow me. Cocoon-ass tents with your people. And you can leave the gang, too. Everybody just leave the game that, that Dutch Vendelin is hosting. Cause this nigga pissing me off. Move nigga before I shoot your horse. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but... Just take me and shut the hell up. across the river. I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. Yeah, but we all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He never had any intention of helping those people. At this point, I ain't sure if he's got any intention of even getting us out of here. He could be stringing everyone along. But he's holding all the money. Ain't that crazy. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. I'm here now because Dutch asked me to. I need to keep playing along with his plan until I find out where all that money's hidden. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rain's fall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting. Everything's so Vegas. fucking far apart. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Alright. This should be fun. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. GTR, I'ma turn this bitch into a slider. And it's still raining. I guess it is. Let's Arthur Morgan looking like Rambo. I'm trying to find a way in. 
Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? How can they breathe with them soaking wet mask on their face? Patrol group. I'm about to say, do I even have a bow and arrow? They can come back around. Let's deal with those two at the gate first. Which one you got? You take one. I'll take the other. Good. Let's make our way around the back. Good shit. I like how you immediately shot after I shot. Other niggas be waiting. There's a guard right above us. Ah! There's a guard right above us. Take the one in the tower because I can't even see the one down uh, in the grass. Okay, come on. Around the back. This is the spot. I'll take him. Or you can take him. You deal with this one. Alright. Done. Let's go. Get down, nigga. You can loot him real quick, loot him real quick, loot him real quick. Do it fast, nigga. Do it fast. I got him, I got him. But say where the hell this nigga went. These guards. Get up that tower and try to distract them. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. Let me take this one out first. I'm 
assuming you're talking about this one. Yep. Are you serious? I'm done helping you and your family. Fuck, Mom. nigga. Your father sent us. My father? He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. I'm fine. I'm fine. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go. Now we can use guns. But it did. Let's push up. I don't got no dynamite or nothing. The hell do you want me to do? What about that cannon? Okay. Sounds like one of their patrols is on its way back here. We need to move fast. There's no time to wait on that. Come on. It's not giving me. If I say it's not giving me the option to do it, shit. Get on it! Y'all seen the lightning when it did the shits and I blew the shits open? That was hard. That was hard. Look, obedient ass horses. Look at you. I'm so proud of you. Get rid of them, Arthur. You deal with them. I'll get the boat ready. 
If you say so. Come on. Get in here. Oh, thank you, friend. Get in the other canoe. Let's go, Arthur. Flee, Jaeger, flee. Why well, couldn't get in that one with y'all? Bro, y'all are so fucking well, we made it this far. extra. Let's get out of here. No pay for this. No wish they kill me when they have a chance. Let's just get you to safety first. We could all just gotten the same one. You niggas is extra. Still nice with it, even while I'm driving the boat. She was wrong. We can use them to ride out of here. I don't see any more of them. Let's get over to the shore. I think we lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you. So much. Yeah. <laughs> 